This is the video on velocities. This is from section 3.5. Now when we say velocity, we're talking about two different things, but the first one that we're going to talk about is linear velocity. And linear velocity is going to be like miles per hour, feet per second, etc, etc. Okay, so this is going to be um, just our basic things that we, we talk about all the time. Okay, so miles per hour, how much we travel divided by our time. Our angular velocity, we're going to use this letter here and this is called omega o-m-e-g-a omega and what this is going to be is basically the same concept except it's going to be theta in radians divided by our time <clears throat> Okay, theta in radians divided by our time. That's pretty much it. And so, for example, we might have 2 pi radians. And we might divide that by 20 minutes. We might get 2 pi radians in 10 minutes. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we need to know a couple of basic things and then we can go. So in example one, we're going to find a point, let's say a point on a circle travels five centimeters in two seconds, find the linear velocity. Well, how far does it travel? Five centimeters. How long does it take it to travel there? Two seconds. So it's going to be 2.5 centimeters per second. That's it. That's linear velocity. As far as angular velocity is concerned, it could be a little bit more difficult, except we remember that it's theta in radians and we're going to divide that by time. So we're going to say that this is equal to omega. So omega equals 3 pi over 4 divided by 3 and when we convert this, this is going to be 3 pi over 4 times 1 third because we're going to multiply by the reciprocal so this is going to be 3 pi over 4 times 3 so we can cancel out our 3's so we get pi over 4 radians per second okay that's pretty much how we go we use this <clears throat> to find extra stuff, okay? So here's an example of a problem like something we might see on the homework or on a quiz or a test that's going to be using this to extend our, our information about the concept. And so it says, a bicycle wheel with a radius of 13 inches turns with an angular velocity of 3 radians per second. So this is omega. And so find the distance traveled by the wheel. Not angular, distance traveled. Okay, so let's imagine that we have this bike wheel here. Okay, it's got spokes. And what we're asking is, if I put a point on this bicycle wheel, and it's going around this way, how far is it going to travel in a minute? Well, what we need to figure out is, how much angle does it cover? Well, if it's three radians in one second, then that means one minute equals 60 times 3. Because 60, minute, 60 seconds is one minute. So our angle, theta, is 180 radians. That's how far it goes in a minute. Because if it travels one second is 3 radians, it travels 180 radians in a minute. Okay? So now, if we want to find this arc, because really, aren't we just saying we need to ha find how much of an arc this travels in a minute? Because if it only went halfway around, it'd be half of the arc. And so what we are finding really is arc length. And because we have theta is 180, and we're going to multiply that times the radius, we can find our arc length because this is the angle that it's traveled, and this is the radius. And so when we do that, we get... 2,340 
and our units are inches. Okay, you see how that goes? And so if we want it, it in feet, okay, we could say 2,340 divided into 12 inch segments is equal to 195 feet. That's how far we go in one minute. Okay, and so we're going to be using angular velocity and linear velocity together to find these various distances. How far does a wheel travel? How far can we roll something? Different things like that, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.